period 600 to 1600 AD. The science of chemistry grew and flourished. Flourish means develop in early civilizations of the world. The Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans and the Muslims contributed much to the science of chemistry as we have discussed in the previous video. The Muslims made a rich contribution to the knowledge in chemistry. They spread like shining stars on the horizon of the world of science. Horizon means highest peak, highest peak of the world of science. They made effective and invaluable services in the field of chemistry. Invaluable means extremely useful. This period of Muslims is almost 1000 years long, that is 600 to 1600 AD. The principal goals or aims of the Muslim chemist were to find out methods to prolong life, prolong means extend, to look ways to change base metals, base metals means inexpensive or cheap metals such as lead into gold, to find physical evidences to support religious and philosophical beliefs, evidences means proofs. Actually, Philosophical beliefs is concerned with the word philosophy. Philosophy is the study of general fundamental questions about existence, values, reasons, mind, etc. In the olden times, people were having view were having some views regarding the religions. They were having their own philosophies. So Scientists wanted to find some physical proofs or evidences to prove all these views. Though they failed in doing so, but they laid the foundation of the laboratory methods. These methods are still used in the modern chemistry. The Muslim scientists discovered many elements, example arsenic, antimony and bismuth etc. They developed and used many laboratory instruments. Example, funnels. What is funnel? Funnel is a special apparatus which is conical in shape, wide at the top, narrow at the bottom, which is used during filtration of impure liquid. Now, as you can see a picture over here, it's a special kind of apparatus which is you can see you can see over here it's conical in shape it is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom and it is used during the filtration of impure liquid next is crucibles crucibles it's the metal container in which metals are melted to a very high temperature Many new chemical processes were also introduced by Muslim scientists. Example, filtration. For this filtration, filtration is actually a separating technique in which the solid impurities are removed from given mixture by using filter paper and funnel as a medium. So, you can see a figure over here. Now, when an impure solution is passed through this filter paper the solid particles are left behind on the filter paper and the clear liquid passes through it this clear liquid or filtered liquid is called filtrate so this is called filtration next is fermentation fermentation Chemical breakdown of substances by bacteria, microorganisms in the absence of oxygen giving off heat. Example, wines, beers, alcoholic drinks are prepared by fermentation process. Next is distillation. What is distillation? It's the process of separating the components of mixture based on different boiling points. For example, alcohol in water. So, if you have a look on the figure, it's a distillation apparatus. Now, we take a mixture of alcohol and water in this flask. We are going to heat the solution. This is a spirit lamp. As boiling point of alcohol is very less than water. So first the vapors of alcohol are formed. 
these vapors they leave the solution and passes on to the condenser where these vapors are changed to liquid and is collected in another flask so alcohol is separated from the water due to difference in their boiling point which is called distillation thus this period provides basis for modern chemistry this period of muslims is generally called the period of al chemist al chemist what are al chemist who study or practice al chemy what is al chemy it's a science that was used in the middle ages with the goal or aim of changing the base metals that is zinc copper which is inexpensive or cheap metals into Gold. Muslim scientists presented a chemistry as purely experimental or practical science. Thank you.